that walk through the park today, didn't you? Yeah, me too. This is the place. Uh, yeah, of course. Oh, she's grown since I last saw her. Yeah, I'd imagine so. She on solid food? Just started. She loves bananas. Charlotte did too. Excuse me. That went well, considering. Oh, oh, look at us. All three of us here, early, together. Yoga can feel so peaceful. If so Avery needs a change, she could stay with me. Or does that not even occur to you? Or not. You gonna start a fight with me because Avery had a sleepover with her grandmother? Bobby is not Avery's grandmother because you are not Avery's mother. What the hell is wrong with you? You brought Avery to me when you were planning on leaving poor Charles. Do you remember that? Sonny was gone and you trusted me? I'm not trying to take your place, but I do love Avery as my own and my mother loves Avery like a grandchild. So what is wrong with Avery having as much love as possible? Let's all just take some cleansing deep breaths. If Sonny is so distracted by your moving out that he can't be bothered to take care of our daughter, then she should be with me and not pawned off on Bobby. The sleepover had nothing to do with Sonny. My mom wanted the girls over because she wanted a distraction after Luke's memorial. Maybe that would have dawned on you if you could think about somebody else but yourself. Oh. Well, I probably overreacted. I think. I just admitted that I was wrong. I just don't want Avery mixed up in Sonny and Carly's drama. You're gonna talk about drama with your on again, off again relationship with Nicholas? My relationship with Nicholas is solid. From what I hear, you're the one on thin ice, so you might want to tread carefully. Because if things don't work out with you this time, Sonny has somebody else to turn to. Hey. Sorry, it must be difficult seeing Chase with Bailey. Yeah, it is, but he seems to love her, so that's good. You know, that reminds me, there's something I've been meaning to bring up with you regarding Bailey. Don't. Brooklyn's EOQ shares are signed over to me. Bailey's with her rightful parents. There's nothing further to discuss on the matter. You mean except for the fact that legally you're still her father? When you're on your high- What? Brooklyn hasn't amended Bailey's birth certificate. Nope. I haven't received notification your name's been removed, which means as far as the court's concerned, legally you are still responsible for her as her father. Excuse me. Okay. Why haven't you and Brooklyn changed Bailey's birth certificate? 